I make my cover videos better? Why aren't I getting any views? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm just not a good singer. If you are asking yourself any of these questions, then this video is for you. I have a confession to make. I watch a lot of YouTube covers and I also hear a lot of singers and I know what works. In this video, I put together 10 tips that I think that you could definitely be implementing to make your cover videos stand out from the rest of the crowd. And these are common mistakes that people I see make a lot. Make sure you watch all the way to the end guys because out of these top 10 tips, maybe you are making one of them and it is stopping you getting views and people watching your covers and your singing. So hold tight, I'm gonna explain these as simply as I possibly can. Let's get started. All right, let me just get comfortable and we can begin. Sorry, I have to move a lot whenever I'm doing these videos. Okay, my first tip is really think about the songs that you are posting on your channel. Now, I think it's just great that your passion is singing Charlie Chaplin songs from the 1920 and that's all you ever wanna post. But you're probably not gonna get the views that you are looking for. But how could this ever be? I love my singing. Why wouldn't other people love my singing? Maybe there's other people out there who also love Charlie Chaplin songs from the 1920s. There probably are people who love to listen to that kind of music, but there's probably not many of them. And if you want to get views, you probably need to think of your song choices. My suggestion is look at what's current. Look what's come out in the last two years and pick one of those songs to just put a cover out there. A song released in the last two years is probably a song that lots of people want to listen to because they know it or they've heard it when they were shopping or they've heard it on an ad. If you take a cover that's really popular right now and do your own cover of it and make the style a little different and maybe closer to what your passion is, maybe it's jazz, maybe it's musical theatre, viewers will be interested in that and maybe come in and look at your other songs and then you'll lead them into what you actually really love to sing. And I totally get it. My degree is in jazz music. I love singing jazz music. I love listening to jazz music. But the average listener probably can't give you a name of a famous jazz singer that's in our times right now. Also, you'll learn a whole lot of songs and extend your repertoire, making you a more interesting musician. So that is my tip for song choice if you want to get more viewers. My second point is what's visible in your video. Whenever I watch a cover, I get really distracted by what's happening around the person singing. I don't really love seeing a whole lot of stuff that's in their house. And by stuff, I mean mess. I want to focus on the singer. I don't really want to see your collection of Peter Rabbit books in your background or your messy plates of food or all other things that could be in the background. And I completely understand. Sometimes you just have to make do with what you have and you might have a lot of family members at home and very little space to perform. If you are totally stuck, just find a blank wall and sing with that behind you. Or if you have to have things in the background, at least make sure that the place is tidy. You want to look as professional as possible. Oh, another siren. Yep, I'm definitely in New York. There is a fire truck sound. Sorry about that. Another thing to consider when you're talking about setting your scene, I do see a lot of covers with people not showing their faces. You're not likely to get a lot of views if you don't show us who you are and what you look like. I understand people want to be private, I totally get it, but probably don't expect a lot of people to hang around and listen to your cover if you're not showing who you are. Be brave and show who you are. You're sharing your voice with us and that's a part of you. You might as well just show the whole thing. Three is equipment. Now I really understand that lots of people don't have proper recording equipment. That is completely understandable. And when you're starting up doing covers, maybe it's okay to just start without any really fancy software. I would just really avoid using earphones with the microphone on the end. It can give you a really muffled sound and you wanna try and make your voice sound as clear as possible. We wanna hear your beautiful singing. Okay, before I say my next point, I'm just gonna go and get ready and get some salsa. In Australia, we call this soda water. And some lemon. I know this is not terribly the best singer drink, but it's just so hot today. I just need something to brighten me up. Okay, point number four. What are you gonna sing along to? Here are your options. You could sing a cappella, which means singing without any backing track, so just purely your voice. Two, you could sing with a instrumental track, which you could download or find on the internet. And three, you could play a instrument to accompany your singing. 
Number one is probably not your best choice. Singing a cappella, unless you're a beautiful Celtic singer in an island. Who is that singer? Sail away, sail away. Enya. Unless you are Enya, you probably want to stick with singing along with something. Which leads me to number two, an instrumental track. Now, there are plenty of these online for all sorts of songs, different kinds of covers, all different kinds of styles. If you want a piano backing for a certain song that you really like, I'm sure it's on the internet. Just be really careful that you are using a backing track that you've paid for. It's not right to put on a backing track and sing along to it without crediting the people who made that backing track. And number three, accompany yourself. Now, not everyone can accompany themselves. My piano skills are extremely lacking, so I understand people use ukuleles, people use guitars, pianos, whatever you can do. You can't use a wind instrument, so no flute playing and singing, that would not work. Maybe it would, not at the same time. I'd like to see that. And if you do so, really make sure that you are focusing on your singing voice and playing and make sure it's schmick, which you might have to do a lot of takes to get a perfect run. Oh, and I totally forgot to say about point three when we were talking about setting, make sure that your lighting is really good. You wanna be able to see the person singing the cover, so make sure you're not seeing in a dank, dark room, which is very ominous have lots of light, you don't need to buy a fancy light, you can just use sunshine and do your best to make sure that when we see you, you're looking your best. Which leads me into point five, what to wear. You do not wanna look messy, dirty, unkempt. You wanna look at least like yourself. So if you tend to wear casual, comfortable clothes, Maybe stick with that, but make sure they look nice and clean. You don't have to dress up in a ball gown to look fabulous. It's best to wear something that you feel comfortable in and you're not pretending to be someone else. People can see through when you are not being authentic to yourself. And also you gotta think about, well, if I don't dress like that normally, why would I do it on my channel, which I'm trying to promote, promote. That's not a word. Talk slower Tamara promote yourself and your image. All right, point six is mixing of your vocals. What is happening today? Point six is mixing of your sound. And you will have to think about this if you are using a instrumental track or playing yourself. I do see a lot of covers where people are playing along with themselves and the balance is really out. And I do also see this with instrumental tracking. You wanna make sure that your voice is the most prominent thing heard. Your voice is more important than some random instrumental track. So really listen back to your recording, make sure they're balanced. If you need to turn up your voice, definitely do that. Question seven is copyright. You do need to think about copyright if you are making your cover videos, if you wanna be monetized one day, because you can't monetize things that aren't your own. If you become a YouTube sensation and you are only making covers of other people's music, the person that wrote the song is probably gonna take most of the money from that, if not all. And so you probably have to think long-term that, yes, okay, if I do do really well doing covers of other people's songs, then maybe I should write my own stuff and have that in my back pocket for if my channel takes off. Okay, guys, I've gotta get up again, sorry. Can't sit for too long. I'm a middle schooler at heart. Oh my gosh, so my fiance likes to be comfortable when he's working from home and so sometimes he wears this neck pillow. Oh, I love him. Okay, number eight. The introduction to your video. I'm watching a video right now and the introduction has been a minute and the person hasn't sung yet. Please, please, please get to the point. I am bored, close, most songs have a nice, beautiful introduction. However, if you are making the audience wait longer than 30 seconds, you need to cut that out immediately. Come on, new minute, let's go people. We have clicked on your video to hear you sing. So please do that. Do that from the get go. I completely understand that some songs really need their introduction to play. You could be really clever while the introduction plays. You could definitely put the title and you could also put the, your name underneath there. So there is something to look at except for you just being like, mmm, totally into my song. I love these instrumental backings. They're my favorite. Because typically people who are playing themselves 
get right to the point, play something short and then just go straight into the song. That's why we are watching your video to hear you sing. So get to it. Number nine, I wanna talk about being yourself. I kind of hate that term, be yourself. I, I never actually know what that means. If I was being myself right this minute, I would probably be wearing pajamas. I think what it means in this circumstance is you wanna be authentic to yourself. You don't wanna be overly nervous. You wanna think about who you're singing to and you wanna try and set them up so they feel a human connection to you, which is what people love to see in a cover video. They wanna see how you feel about the song and see your emotions, your raw emotions. If you cry, go for it. Don't delete that one, just put it up there. Who cares? People will feel closer to you if you're yourself. So in saying that, don't rush the process. Make sure that if you take a take and you're not really feeling great about it, Start again, keep it, don't delete it, but take some time to think about it. Maybe wait a day and record it tomorrow and then compare the two, which one makes more sense about your singing. And now for my last point, support other singers, guys. If I was putting covers out on YouTube, I'd probably pick a song and go and look up five different people doing covers. I would look at what they do right, what they could work on, and then I'd probably also leave them a comment and a thumbs up just to be supportive because you've gone and taken time to go and listen to their cover. How can you expect others to write on your page and listen to your music if you don't do the same? So make a heart and spread the love away, guys. And also please don't be that person who their comment is just linking and being like, check out my song. That's obnoxious and you need to stop that. It's actually really disrespectful to the person who's put their music out there. But you never know, maybe they will click on your channel and really love your singing and then you have a subscriber don't be judgy spread the love and that's it from me guys i hope you found these top 10 tips really helpful i want your singing and covers to succeed and hopefully with maybe one or two of these you can make your covers even better that's it from me happy singing guys if you enjoyed this video and want access to more free warm-ups meditations and other singing related videos make sure you subscribe I am a new channel and any support is appreciated so I can make more material for you guys. Anyway, that's it from me. See you next time.